Today on the channel, we got a special care package in the mail from Numskull. We have some special limited edition Lord of the Rings tubs to look at. Uh, sent this nice little flyer inside with the package. It says, you shall not pass. New supersized Balrog confronts Gandalf in the tubs duck pond. I uh, love what they did with the you know old scroll look here. Very cool. Inside we have the giant Balrog tubs figure. Now, if you don't know what tubs are, they are collectible rubber duckies that are each uniquely sculpted, individualized, uh, collectible figures. They do float, but not upright in the traditional sense. They're more for display purposes and memorabilia fans. Uh, they got everything from movies, video games, TV shows, you name it. All your favorite franchises are covered. But inside this demonic, volcanic looking package is the large Balrog, but we also have Pippin Took, another limited edition figure that is limited to 3,000 units sold. They all come in their own unique little bathtub, hence the name Tubs. We've got Mary Brandebuck to look at as well. And of course, we've got to have our Gandalf You Shall Not Pass figure to go with our Balrog. So let's go ahead and get it out of the package and start looking at the details of all these Lord of the Rings figures. First up, we have Mary Brandybuck. Now, it should be noted that all these Lord of the Rings tubs figures are modeled after their likenesses, how they appeared in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy series, uh, and I think they do a great job. It may be hard to tell on camera, but there's awesome texture detail to his coat here. It's not just completely smooth. Uh, these are all individually uniquely sculpted, as you can tell by the, the hair. They always do an exceptional job with the sculpts of these, so it's not like it's a simple rubber ducky that has just been painted to look like a character. No, each and every one of them is unique. Uh, it has different mold and sculpt completely. Uh, they did a great job with, you know, getting the, the facial characteristics. You get a little bit of uh, playfulness in his face there, which is good because Mary was always uh, the practical joker of the bunch. Got his rubber ducky tail sticking out, of course. Then we have Pippin Took, again with the hair. Awesome sculpt details. Uh, he's got his armor on, his chain mail. He's got his, you know, little mini sword there. Great details on the crest of the front piece. Great details on the chain mail. His armor, everything is, you know, he's got his little wings. Just looks absolutely phenomenal. And don't worry, you can get your entire fellowship collection going. So they've already released Frodo and Samwise. Um, there's 20, I think now is what they're up to. 20 different tubs, Lord of the Rings characters. So if you have your favorite Lord of the Rings character, chances are they've already made a tubs for it. So definitely check them out. And then this thing is absolutely phenomenal. We got Gandalf and his you shall not pass um, pose and expression. They've already released a Gandalf the gray and a Gandalf the white, but this one, I mean, if you're gonna release the Balrog, you gotta have Gandalf in this iconic pose. Sword looks excellent. It's you know, pliable, so it does bend, but you don't have to worry about it breaking off or anything like that, and uh, it shouldn't poke your eye out, assuming you don't just gouge yourself. Staff details look great. Got the crystal up top, nice paint application. Uh, the details on his beard look exceptional, even his furrowed brow there. Uh, excellent job, again, with the textured details of his cloak, braids around his belt. He's got his little you know, pouch, satchel there. I mean, they just did a phenomenal job. Even like, you know, his under, under sleeve stuff right there just looks phenomenal. But the piece to resistance, the thing that I was most excited about is this behemoth, this Balrog. Now this one is limited to a thousand pieces, whereas the other Hobbits and Gandalf, these are limited to 3000. So this one is a little more rare, uh, but if you want to pick these up, I'll put product links down in the video description box below. There is an awesome Facebook community that I should mention as well for the tubs. So if you want to show off your collection, learn more about tubs figures, definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the video description box below. But he is an extra large tub, as you can tell. Um, nine inches tall, just dwarfs the hobbits in comparison. Uh, packaging is really cool. Like I said, you got your numbered number 19 in the series. Here is a look at all the different Lord of the Rings tubs. In the back, we got a nice glam shot of Gandalf sitting on the bridge of the mines, facing off, squaring off against the Balrog. So let's get him out of the box and examine him closer. He is absolutely massive. I mean, just 
huge. I mean, obviously it's named extra large for a reason, but just here's old Gandalf. Here's the Balrog. I mean, for scale, that's pretty sweet, but the details on this, my goodness. So you got his menacing whip there with the three tassels on the end. You got each individual raised little spike edge and we got some gradation of the color. So, you know, bright orange all the way to the light yellow. Still a rubber ducky, but man, he's got that scowling expression that just makes him look super demonic, which is, you know, very fitting because uh, Durin's Bane is his other name for this Balrog. He's, uh, he's a demonic creature. I mean, he is a scary, scary looking dude. Uh, the flames on his backside, talk about the sculpt details. I mean, this thing is just huge. Of course, he's got his giant wings little duck tail as opposed to the long demonic tail, which is, is fitting um, since it is a rubber ducky theme. But my goodness, they just did an excellent job on this, not only the scale, the, the sheer size of it, but like the individual sculpting details. Like I said, it's always just a work of art to me. You can manipulate the whip a little bit, but it is attached to his chest right there. Um, you probably could razor that off if you want it and have more pliable, but I mean, these things are more display pieces than they are action figures. But great job, his horns. I can't get over the, the flames. I mean, the, just the gradation of the paint application is awesome, awesome stuff. Very, very cool. And of course you gotta have your, your standoff. You shall not pass. And then boom, he falls down. And then of course, if you remember the movie, catches Gandalf with a whip at the end and oh no, Gandalf dies. But awesome, awesome stuff from Numskull. Must have for Lord of the Rings fans for sure. Um, specifically the Balrog, but you know, if you don't want to go that big, your shelf space maybe doesn't hold something like that, then obviously, you know, maybe get all four of the Hobbits. Of course, you got to have Gandalf. You got to have at least one Gandalf. So I'll put product links down in the video description box below to all the Lord of the Rings tubs out there available, as well as any other tubs figures you might be interested. In. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.